Hello LEGO fans, Bricks Unbound here with another Marvel Super Heroes set review. Today we're looking at set number 76016, the Spider Helicopter Rescue. Comes with 299 pieces, 3 minifigures, and 1 big fig. And when it originally came out in 2014, it retailed for about 45 US dollars. So not the best price per piece there. Let's see if the set lives up to it though. There are two main builds in this set. We have the smaller one is the Green Goblin's glider over on the left and on the right we have the spider helicopter which is piloted by uh, Power Man right now and then has Spider-Man in the back cockpit there. We'll start out with the Goblin glider. Personally this is my favorite of these two vehicles. Um, we've got some nice sticker details there. They're not too hard to apply and I do think they give nice detailing to this. I especially like those Oscorp stickers that you can see. Get him out of the way. You can see right there. I like the look of those. I wouldn't mind having some more of those. I might harvest the parts off this to stick them on a building or something because they're pretty cool. It's always nice to get licensed companies like that um, on Lego pieces, even if they are stickers. The build of this is pretty nice. It does not adjust here at all. It's just held on by Technic arms. You can adjust these little flaps at the end though if you want to give it different looks maybe depending on how fast it's going. And of course it is weaponized with a couple of flick fire missiles hidden under here so you can fire those off against the spider helicopter. Overall nice little glider. Moving on to the big part of the set, the spider helicopter. I don't know, <laughs> this just looks a little weird to me. It has these big uh, they kind of remind me of Quinjet or Helicarrier type rotors here on the side for some lift, but then it also has the big helicopter <laughs> blades on top. And it's very brightly colored with the red and the blue. There's a nice sticker here though with that shield logo on it that is on a clear back, so it does not have to just go onto blue pieces. I think I will probably pick up a set of stickers for this set just so I can use them on other things. I have a nice spider logo up front as well. And you can see we've got lots of play features, plenty of things that shoot off of this. So let's go ahead and show off some of those. So here's Green Goblin. He's being chased on his glider. He's captured Mary Jane Watson flying away. So first you have these flick fire missiles here which are activated by pushing on these rods sticking out the back. You can fire all four of them at once if you push on everything or just two at a time. So you give that a push and out fly the missiles. So works just fine. I mean, they're just your regular flick fire missiles. On the other side, you can tell what's packed in there. It's one of our Lego nets. And you it's the same kind of idea. Push on this back here and try to capture the goblin. And I mean, I kind of missed, <laughs> bounced off of him. Really, it's a pretty small net anyway to catch him. So you'd probably be better off, or Spider-Man would be better off grabbing onto his glider and disabling that to bring him down. Um, one more play feature, if you miss with all of that like I did, you can actually deploy Spider-Man himself in here. And there's yet another rod to push on back here, which will pop him out. And he falls right out the bottom. So he's just held on in his cockpit with just two studs in the back here. You push him out and down he swings to take out the Green Goblin. Here's a look at those cockpits with everything removed. In order to remove the, or open the front one, you do have to remove this entire piece, which requires opening the Spider-Man cockpit. But here we have Luke Cage or Power Man sitting in front. Some nice stickers there for his console details. That's a good use of those stickers, I feel. Um, good stickers for it. So nice look inside. Uh, the helicopter still just doesn't quite do it for me with all the bright colors. This is based on the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show, which is why we have a giant Green Goblin as well. Um, so it's probably brightly colored in the show, and this is probably exactly from an episode. I have never watched the show, so I'm not positive. But it's just not quite my type of model. Let's move on and see what the minifigures look like. The figures included in this set are Spider-Man, Power Man, or Luke Cage, Mary Jane, and the Green Goblin in big fig form. As I mentioned, this is based on the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show, which I haven't watched, so I'm not entirely sure how accurate they are to the show, 
but I do think all these figures look quite nice. The Spider-Man, of course, we've gotten many times before. Even when this set came out a couple of years ago, by that point we'd had several of this exact same version in sets. The Power Man figure is exclusive to this set, has not come out in anything else in any other variation. So nice to get him. Always great to add on new superheroes to the collection. The Mary Jane figure is pretty good. My favorite part definitely being that torso with the I Love Spidey t-shirt on or tank top on. Looks really good. I like the printing on there. Got nice detailing. Her face is also perfect for being captured by the Goblin. She kind of has that scared look on her. Green Goblin himself is really possibly my favorite big fig um, from the superheroes line. Has really good sculpting there on the head and then even his toes are not printed on like we've seen in uh, the big figs recently. Those are actually sculpted in there. There's actually gaps there. So it looks much more, I guess, realistic if you can go that far with a big fig. Good sculpting on the chest as well. That's not printing. These are all uh, actually the shape of the mold. So awesome job there by Lego. Good printing on his face too. Makes him look pretty big and scary. Let's turn around to the back. Mary Jane does have an alternate face, but as she is the only one with hair in this set, she's the only one who gets an alternate face as well. There's a look at that. Looks a little bit happier there. Maybe it's either before or after the Green Goblin has captured her or Spider-Man has rescued her. From the back, he still has awesome sculpting for this Green Goblin mold. The printing on everybody else is fairly basic, but I still think it gets the job done. And one other thing about this big fig, which I never realized until I watched, I believe it was Brick Vault's video on their superhero big fig collection. This is the only big fig that has his right foot forward. On every single other fig, like the Hulk here, his left foot is what's forward there. So that's just an interesting little bit of info I learned from Brick Vault. I'd check out their channel. They're pretty good. Let's move on and say what I think about this set. Now for my final thoughts on this set, I like the look of the glider a lot, I'm not such a huge fan of the helicopter however, and the minifigs are fantastic, they're definitely the best part of the set to me personally. I do think it's a pretty good set though for younger builders, it has some good techniques for building up the helicopter and it's very sturdy, very swooshable, I could definitely see kids running around the house chasing each other with these vehicles firing off the flick fire missiles. So I think for the younger age group, this is a pretty good set. For adult collectors, however, it's not so great. The pieces themselves are, some of them are uncommon, but personally I can't really see too many uses for the bright color scheme of it, except in very specific circumstances. And then the big problem for me is the price of this set. So when it originally came out, it was $45. Uh, it has retired now in the United States as of the beginning of 2016. I think it retired in January or February. And even after it retired, the price hasn't actually gone up. You can still get it for between probably $40 and $50. So if you want it, you can still pick it up to get the figures. I think the Green Goblin is fantastic. really like that big fig. It's great to be getting Luke Cage in a set too, especially with the TV show that has been coming out for him. The Mary Jane is fantastic as well with that torso print Spider-Man. I don't particularly care. I have a bunch of him. The stickers in the set are actually really useful, so I wouldn't mind getting some more of those. But overall, I can't really recommend this set uh, unless you really want those minifigures and don't want to buy them individually. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below, and please like, comment, and subscribe.